So to do the Garmin uh, perspective update, I'm going to do the SD card version and not the Active Captain because there have been some issues with Active Captain and pixelation. So I'm going to play it safe because you can't go backwards. So I just go to Google and type in uh, something like this, Echo Map Plus 9.3 software. Once you do that, you'll get this link. Just click on it. Click the download. And I've already done that, so you'll get this executable file. Okay, so there it is. It's, it's got it in there. Uh, so I'm just taking a plain uh, SD card that's a uh, 8 megabyte. So I'm going to stick it in right now. It shows up as a removable disk here. So all it says here is to go to the location where you save, double click, and it'll do download the file to, uh, to your computer to the SD card. So I'll try that. <clears throat> So it's, a, it's an application, so you do double click it and it will extract, just like it's extracted. Click next. Yeah, sure, why not? Gonna, uh, the reader, H is the one I've got in. Looks like it's transferring the data over to the SD card. Okay, so uh, it says the update was successfully transferred to the card. Plug this card into your marine product and follow the on-screen instructions. So I'm going to click finish here. Looks like the first part is successful. Let's go to the boat. Note the version is 8.3 showing here. Just put in the card and it pops up software update card update software right here. So it looks like it's updating the um, <clears throat> plus to version 11.2, one for the GLS 10, version 2.30, uh, and uh, the G. CV20 version 2.10. So it's uh, got to 30%, it's powered down. Let's see what happens next. And then it uh, comes up with software loading. Okay, after about 10 minutes, looks like it downloaded. And then it automatically went into this uh, mode after the flash on. Okay, looks like it's completed. Like, okay, just restart. Here's Pan Optics. Okay, let's check the software version. Settings, system, system information, software information. It is showing 11.2. Okay, let's go check to see if perspective mode uh, is working. So we'll hit the menu button, uh, go into the sonar setup. Installation, orientation, it's on auto right now, but uh, probably has to be in the water before the uh, perspective can automatically detect, but right now you put it on perspective. Looks like the software upgrade is working properly. I suspect once I get on the water, the um, automatic uh, sensor will detect that I'm in perspective mode versus the uh, straight mode. So um, we'll take it to the water next. Well, there you have it, a step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload your software with the SD card, which is the recommended method on upgrading for the perspective mode on LiveScope. Be on the lookout for the next video where I'm gonna be on the water with it 
and just uh, checking it out and seeing uh, how everything works. I hope you enjoy the video.